Just have your feet shoulder width apart. Relax around the hips. Bend both knees so that they're pointing in the same direction as the toes. And just sink your hips. Lengthen up through the spine. Gently breathe in and out. Just sink the shoulders. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Relax around the jaw. Looking forwards and listening behind and above. Just gently breathe in and out. Draw the toes in so that you activate the arches of the foot. And then turn the waist. So feel the, the arms nice and relaxed, nice and floppy. And you're turning your waist. ground under your feet, tall through the body, relax the shoulders, relax your arms, elbows and wrists. And just let the arms move, just show you that from the side. Relax around the jaw. sinking, keep the head floating up, gently breathe in and breathe out. Okay, then just relax the shoulders, sink the hips, feel the spring, springs in the body, just gently bounce up and down. Relax the lower back, and then this one. Down and up, down and up. Relax the palms of the hands. That's it. And then turn the elbows so that the palms face upwards. Feel the opening in the chest. Sink the hips. Lengthen through the spine. 
and then change. Show you that from the side. So one goes across the front, one goes across the back. We're doing the outside turn, loosening exercise number one. Breathe in and out. and change. So let just the arms drop down, you're lengthening through the spine, you're breathing in and breathing out. Relax the palms of the hands. Relax the palms and fingers of the arms. Lengthen through the spine. Gently breathe in and out. Okay, relax the shoulders. Lengthen through the spine again. Feel the ground under your feet. Just allow the hips to sink. Allow the weight to settle. Make some room in your shoulder joint. Turn the waist, swing the arms forward and back. I'll show you that from the diagonal view. So I'm softly gazing forwards. I'm listening behind and listening above. And sinking the shoulders, relaxing the arms. Really let go in that shoulder joint, so that's very loose and free. Gently breathe out. Okay, and then wobbling. So sink the hips and then off we go. Gently breathe in and gently breathe out. Shake out. Shake the, the feet, shake the hands. Okay, this time I'll just move this back a little bit. This time, turn your foot out, 
place the other foot forward, heel toe. And sink forwards and back. Relax the shoulders, lengthen up through the spine. Gently draw in the toes. other side so start with your feet in the correct spot and then heel sinking forward back foot to the front foot keeping your heel on the floor I'll show you this from the side now this time what you're going to do is you're going to raise your toes in the front foot you're going to raise your heel in the back foot. Try that on the other side, or just um, sink forwards and back a few times, and then raise the toes, raise the heel, raise the toes, raise the heel, raise the toes, raise the heel. A little shake out. Shake the arms, shake the legs. Okay, we're going to do some um, exercises to keep our joints mobile. So we'll start with the shoulders. So I'll come a bit closer for that. And we go up, back, and round. One, two, three, four. Five, we do eight, six, seven, and eight. And now eight in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And shake out. Lengthen through the spine, sink the hips, hands on the chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So I've got a couple of new ones today. It's like you're shaking water off your arms. Now check your posture again, nice and tall through your spine. So you softly gaze forwards. So keep your eyes eye level. You listen behind and above. <coughs> sink the shoulders, sink the hips. Okay, so wrists and elbows. So we like this, and we go up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight round and round outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, round and round inwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rolling forwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rolling back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over and under, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the shake out. Nice and tall, and then dragon serves teacups. We go one, two, three, and four. There you go. One, two, three, four. We'll just do one side at a time. Two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. And five, two, three, four. Okay, now we'll do five on the other side. So you place your hand on your lower dainty end to feel that waist turning. And then we go one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four, and five, two, three. Four, and then one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Both hands at the same time. One, two, three, four, and five. Relax, children. Have a little shake out. Okay, so just have the hands out to show that from the side and you pull in, push out. And you can do this slow for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And you can go a bit faster. 18, 19, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, we'll just do 50, 40. 50 and then shake out so uh, when I do this with Barry we do a hundred but we're just we're just the 50 club today okay now wiggle your fingers like this this is a new one and just do one hand so you go round and round in a circle with wiggling your fingers uh, Eva says it's like a spider but if you don't like spiders imagine it's a caterpillar if that helps and then try the other way and then up and down and then a circle and a circle and then let that go I try that with the other hand so get that for so you do an outward circle inward circle up and down forward and back and then you you just kind of make something up with your hands just move your hands you can go up and down that's a good one round and round round and round so you get in your hands nice and mobile okay and then shake out the hands 
so a little bit more on the hands and then what you're doing is you're going little finger and thumb just come a bit closer little finger and thumb okay try that the other side little finger thumb little finger thumb It's like you're turning. You can close and open, close, open, close, and two, three. So it's good getting that grip for five, six, seven, eight. Shake out. Hands on the hip circle. One, two, Three, four, five, nice, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sink the hips nice and tall. Just breathe in and out. And we'll go through the 18 set. So we'll we'll go at a nice what I'll do is I'll demonstrate the movement um, first and then we'll do a few repetitions and then I'll move on to the next movement. Um, I am going through this set more systematically on my Thursday morning uh, Keep Active Ely Tai Chi Health class and um, yeah but this is quite a nice way we'll be going through from move 1 to move 18 next but before that I'll have a have a water break if you need some water uh, okay so what you want to do first and foremost is check your posture so you want to make sure you've got your feet parallel and shoulder width you're sinking your hips you're lengthening through the spine gently breathing in and out go back a little and you just want to notice your posture first so notice the contact with the feet notice the hips are sinking and the head is floating up so now what you're doing is you're noticing that lengthening feeling in the spine relaxing the shoulders relaxing around the jaw softly gazing forwards listen behind and listen above And then notice the breath as it goes in and out. So you want to follow your breath. And follow the breath out. And then notice any sounds you can hear. So you've got this solid connection to the ground, you're noticing the sound, you're noticing your breathing, you're noticing the contact and your alignment. Okay, so the first move we do is raising arms, so they come up, I'm going to show you that from the diagonal, they come in a little and then you extend your fingers and sink the hips and that's when you breathe out, you're breathing out. So you breathe in and out. Yeah, okay, we'll do a few rounds of this. So raise arms. And you want to get your arms soft and light. So they just float up 
and float down. Just let that one go at the end and check your posture. Right, the next one is called opening the chest. So your arms come up, you open the chest, the arms come back, and then you float down. So the last part is like the previous movement. I'll show you that one more time. Come slightly forward, and I keep my arms in front of the body, and then Nice and relaxed. Off we go. Okay, the next one, dance the rainbow. So um, you set it up by having your weight on one foot more than the other. You put your hand, your laogong point over your backway point, and then you're also looking at your laogong point in the palm. So you're keeping upright, and then we're just doing this. So we're going from one side to the other. Okay, here we go. Dance the rainbow. And one more time each side. Great. And then for the next one, you bring your hands in front, st gently stretch up, gently open, and gently float down. Separate the clouds or part the clouds. One more time.
and then uh, the next one is rolling arms so you have one hand in front one hand um, at the hip and then you turn pay, raise the palms up bring the hand to the side of your head and then push forwards turn bring the hand to the side of the head push forwards and pull back Okay, let's give that a go. So soft, smooth and slow and relax. Let's let the arms go, sink down, bring the hands to the side of the head and then what you do with this one is you sink the hips back, you keep the back long and then you sink down with your sitting bones and float up with the head. It's called rowing the boat to the middle of the lake. So we'll do a few rounds of this. Nice and smooth. And one more time. Okay, so next, I press my hand down, I have my hand up. I come down and I go like this. Down and up. Okay, let's go. Nice and relaxed. Soft in the arms, get everything relaxed and connected. Do one more time each side. Hands floating, hands are floating. Now this time you hold the ball and sink down. So hold the ball, that's it. 
Now we're going to do the same footwork. We're going to turn, raise the heel. Now press the palms out. Come back and hold the ball. Sink down. Turn, press the palms out. One more time each side. Come down. Okay, the next move is called pressing palms. You have one hand underneath, one hand on top, and the hand on top, that's the hand that comes around. The hand that's underneath, that's the hand that kind of sweeps downwards. So have a look first. So I transfer my weight, I turn, outside turn, and then one around and one sweeping down. And then I change the hand that's in on the top and then I swap. Okay, and together. Keep breathing, keep the body nice and soft and tall. One more time each side. Okay, now hold the ball. Turn, rotate the arms, transfer the weight, turn the waist, rotate the arms, okay, and join in. Got lots of space in the arms. Use your eyes so you're looking forwards, listening behind and above. Arms are soft and light and they're going away from the middle. Yeah, keep the shoulders sinking. One more time each side. Lovely. Okay, so I'll show you this from the diagonal. We're going to do touching the sea and looking up at the sky. So you bring your hands either side of the knee, you're lengthening through the spine, and then you sink into the back foot and open the chest. Okay, here we go. One more time and then try that with the other foot forward. So take your time to get your posture.
and then begin. One more time. Change feet again. This time, uh, remember we were doing that, raising the toe, raising the heel. We're doing that move. Um, actually, yeah, I'll show you from, from here. So you sink back, bring your hands to the chest, hands to the chest, sink forward, push up. And off we go. shake out, check your posture, do it on the other side and begin. One more time. Flying pigeon, so you sink back, open the arms, sink forward, close the arms, and begin. other side. One more. Check your posture sink the hips and then really practice softly gazing forwards make a fist bring it to your hip and make another fist and have it out here and we're punching with a focused gaze show you that from the diagonal so looking forwards listening behind And one more each side. Just let the arms hang by the sides. Flying wild goose. So you come up and down. And nice and relaxed, really soft. See if you can feel it in the whole of your body. Soft, smooth, 
slow. Okay, one more. Take a slightly wider stance, sink the hips, bring the hands round to tall bow, and then we're circling a ball rotating like a wheel, it's called. And then change. One more circle. Come back to Wu Chi. Now we'll do bouncing a ball while marching. So we do same arm, same leg first, and then we do the opposite arm, opposite leg next. So get your posture just so first. Nice and relaxed, a springy feeling in the body. And begin. One, two. One more each side and then opposite hand and foot. So a couple of slow deep breaths first, get your posture correct, then begin. One more each side. So gone. Just breathe in and out. So normally we do three, but I threw, threw a few extras in. Just stand for a moment, just feel the ground under your feet, feel your hips sinking, the head floating up. Have a little shake out. So we'll do some um, uh, Chinese massage first, and then we'll have a look at some of the some stepping exercises so um take these off so you start getting get your posture first and then rub the hands together 
They very gently tap around your face. Gently on the ears. And then the forehead. Start from the top and the middle. Work your way out to the sides and down. Gently on the sides of the head. Gently around the top of the head and then the back of the neck and you can rub the neck as well because necks can get a bit stiff especially in cold weather and if you oh, nice and relaxed and then pick a shoulder one two three four five six seven eight down the inside of the arm up the outside of the arm And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're just breathing. And then either side of the spine in parallel lines radiating outwards. Around the hips, down the outside of the legs, and up the inside of the legs. And one more time. On the tummy and on the chest. Big breath in and out. And then three breaths. And one more. Okay, so let's just do double handed push. As a, as a little walking exercise so like this then you're going to cat starts you sink down you step you turn you push and then you sink down step push and sink down Have a go at wild goose so you can like this and step and come up and down. The other one you can do is a crane walking where instead of leaving your foot in cat stance you can actually raise the, the foot up, you bring your wrists together and then you 
down with the almost like down with the heels of the palms heel toe I'll just show you that from the front up and down there we go so we'll try that a bit but I'll do it uh, along the, the sideways view so nice and tall in your body softly gaze forward listen behind and above and off we go And one more time. Okay. Just sink the hips, lengthen through the spine. Really feel the ground under the feet. Got this good solid connection to the earth that you're feeling calm and comfortable. Breathing in nice and gently and just turn the waist. So the exercise we did right at the beginning of class. We're breathing in and we're breathing out. I'm going to sink the hips. Stroking the back, breathe in, breathe out. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Open, turn, together, and down. One more time. And see if it works today. Rub the hands together, polishing the face.
rub the hands together again and give your lower back a rub. And then embrace the tiger, return to the mountain one more time. Stand nice and tall, nice and relaxed. Feel the ground under your feet, sink the hips, lengthen through the spine. Take a couple of slow, deep breaths. together, bring the feet together and bow. Just stand for a moment. 